Yes, I do it, I do it. Yeah, we get it, we get it. We in the streets with the scriptures. Pray my people repenting. Don't take my countenance for hatred. My austerness is needed. And by the end of this lesson, y'all gon' know what we preaching. And that's the truth. 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 Lord, our righteousness is never lasting righteousness. And our, and our law is now the, the black man in this trap, man. I'm supposed to act like I don't feel it. Forced to believe in his American dreams to the self esteem of my opinions. Okay. Told that I have a lost lineage. And I'm just supposed to be content with uh, what's done is done. And that's in the past. And accept these terms and conditions when they rape, rob, murder, the yeah. brother serving they okay. Waiting to righteous judgment. These demons being discovered. Ooh. All fallacies are uncovered. Truth is loose and on the come up. Prophets back to confront you. These devils they running from us. Uh, this is spiritual. Waiting on physical. Okay. Yeah, this is biblical. Yeah. Keep these laws so I see Esau pay for all that we've been that's through. Right. That's 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 Verse 2, for lo, thy enemies make a tumult. For lo, thine enemies make a tumult. Our, the enemies are the nations, because the Most High didn't choose the nations. The Most High chose us. Yes, he did. So the other people are our enemies. Them the same people that we were sold to for disobedience. Come on. And they that hate thee have lifted up their heads. And the other nations hate us. And they have lifted up their heads against us. They have taken crafty counsel against our people. You have no idea about the crafty counsel that the nations have taken to destroy us, to put us on the level of ignorance that you see us in now. You have no idea the deep research and the deep think tanks that they come up with and they sit down and plot and plan on how to keep us destroyed. That's what this is talking about. Read that statement again. They have... They have taken crafty counsel. They didn't just take regular counsel, crafty counsel. Yeah, well. Against thy people. Against thy people. Against the Israelites. And consulted against thy hidden ones. And they have consulted against thy hidden ones. We're the hidden ones because what? We're the Israelites, but nobody knows that. That's right. That's right. You've been going in the church talking about praising the Lord Jesus, white Jesus, but meanwhile, the book that they're reading from is talking about you. Right. But right. your That's information right. is hidden. They're not teaching you that. That's right. <laughs> That's what it says, the hidden ones. You're hidden. When people look for the Jews, who they look for? White people. Where in the hell in the Bible does it say the people look like that in the Bible? All throughout the Bible, Christ, the Most High, the prophets, all of them described as black men. We get to that. Keep reading. They right, have, now, right now we're dealing with you. They have said, come and let us cut them off from being a nation. They said, come and let us cut them off from being a nation. That the name of Israel may be no more in remembrance. Now, where's the brother going? Right. You want? He asked a question and he was like... <laughs> no, there was a sister that was telling him to come over, come away. That's oh. what happened. You understand? Know but that's going to happen. Read it again. They have, where you they have said, come and let us cut them off from being a nation. That's showing you that this whole zone is spiritual. Because the, the spirit of the Most High is bringing it here, and as that's happening, Satan is trying to oh, pull yeah. you away from that's it. That's right. And he'll use your own woman, he'll use your own brothers, he'll use anybody. Put some music across the street or something, and you start gassing. Next thing you know, you're gone. All of that, just to keep you from getting this. That's for all that part of that crafty council. That the name of Israel may be no more in remembrance. That the name of Israel may be no more in your mind. So when people ask you what's your nationality, you come up with, I'm an African American. I'm a black man. I'm a Nubian. I'm an I'm a, I'm a Egyptian. You come up with everything but except what God said you are. You got me? So that's how you became hidden. Because the real nationality of who you are has not been told in the earth. That's right. That's why you're called hidden. How did you become hidden? Because the nations have come together and conspired to make sure that you lose the name Israel. Give me Isaiah 1 and 3 and I'm going to give it to the brother. Yeah. Real quick, go back to that one in Psalms. Real quick. I just want to show you something else. Look at that book in that black bag. Psalms 83 and 4. Okay. Nobody over here. Thank you. Psalms 83 and 4. For they have said, come and let us cut them off from being a nation. Verse 3, I mean. Verse 3. They have taken crafty counsel against our people. They have taken crafty counsel against God's people. Some of the crafty counselors, they changed your image. They destroyed your image in slavery. You're going to ask yourself.
yourself. If you had a plantation with 300 slaves, how could one white man control all 300 slaves? It's almost impossible. But he gave us this image right here. Brother, hold that up for me. That was something you got the book. Go to the back of the book. The back of the page. Now, many of our people, our women, our sons, our mothers and fathers, you ask them, who is this? What will they tell you? They said Jesus. Jesus Christ. Now, yes. Right here, here we go. Now, here's a book from, because some of you might think, oh, you're talking crap. No, you're not. Here's a book called Russian Icons. Mm -hmm. It used to cost $80. Now the book costs $400. Why? Because black people got wise to it. That's right. When you go to the back of the book, this is a Russia. What color do you see Jesus Christ here? Exactly. Or what do you see the monks doing? Right. Painting them white. That's right. There's been a, read the verse again, verse 3. For they have taken crafty counsel against our people. The crafty counsel is so deep. How deep is it? That is from the time of slavery. There was campaign to paint all the black images of your ancestors, our ancestors, white. Right. Now we wake up and go to church. Church today is, what's that? White supremacy to the utmost. Mm. Black ministers teach this, that this is Jesus. You ask the question, why are not black men in church? Because we have no, have no place in church. Anything right. righteous, anything good is white. But where's the black man's image in church? It don't exist. So black men, the only reason black men going to church today, you gotta be effeminate. Cause why? <laughs> Most women fill the church. That's right. Then you got these, you see the choirs? Yeah. Filled with homosexual men. Yeah. Then when you try to bring our brothers back, back to the truth, you're the Israelites. There's, look at this image here. Right. Look at all these images. They got, a, they got a dog Christ on the wall. And yeah, they're right. repainting them white. Right. right. I want to show you some more. Bear with me, that's St. Nicholas, not that, but I don't like that. You gotta flip through these books and see. Now in the beginning of the book, they tell you, oh, there, there might have been a fire that burned them. But no, it's not true. There was no fire that burned their images up, okay? Yeah, they had, also, they, 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 had a, they had to come from a temple. Right. Read they, that again. They, came from a temple. they have taken crafty counsel against our people. So when the Bible says they have taken crafty counsel yeah. against our people, the United Nations building, all those nations are against our people coming back as the Israelites. Right. Because the prophecy says when we return as the Israelites, that's when Christ returns. That's right. All right. Let me ask you a question, they sister. They don't, they don't. In church, they say, are you saved? Right? Yeah. How many of you, are you saved? She said yes. Are you saved? He said no. Are you saved? <laughs> Working on it. Working on it. Right. Now let's deal with her answer. She said she is saved, right? Give me Luke chapter 1. I'm going to show you something. Come, sister. Come, 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 come. Luke chapter 1. And I want to start at verse 71. Because my mother used to go around and say, I'm saved. I'm Holy Ghost filled. I'm water baptized. I never understood what that meant. So now, as you read the Bible, come on, read, read. Luke chapter 1, verse 71. Watch this. That we should be saved from our enemy and from the hand of all that hate us. That we should be saved from our enemy. From our enemies. And from the hand of all that hate us. So are you saved? No, you're not saved. This is the reality we got to come to. We're not saved. We're still in captivity. Here's the next question. Who are your enemies? The white people. She said white. You agree with that? Some way. Yeah. Some way. Who are your enemies? She don't know. Who are your enemies? Anybody against. Anybody against. Against, against, yeah, against, against the word. Against the word. Oh, okay. Give me Deuteronomy. Give me Deuteronomy 28. Do I want verse? What verse do I want? 48 or 68? 40, you want 48. I want, let me look at it. Let me look at it. I'm going to show you. You want both. The 48 uh, starts it off. No. I want to give me 68. Yep, right to the meat. How do we as a people get to America, Jamaica, the Caribbean? How do we get over here? Boat. Boat. Yeah, he boat. said boat. How? Did we fly on a plane? No. How? Boat. 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 Ship. Ship. Yeah. Was it a yacht? No. What kind of boat? It was the like worst kind of boat. Yeah. Yeah. A slave yeah. ship, right? Yeah, yeah baby. Watch this. Let's see if that's in the Bible. Come on. Deuteronomy 28, verse 68. Watch this. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again. And the Lord shall bring you into Egypt. The word Egypt is Greek. Right. It means what? It means bondage. Okay. Bondage. Read it again. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again. And the Lord shall bring you into bondage again. With ship. With what? With ship. With ships. Read. By the way whereof I 
spake unto thee. By the way whereof I spake unto thee, no more, thou shalt see it no more again. You will not see your homeland again. Read. And thou, and thou, once you got off the slave ships, ye shall be sold unto your enemy. Who would we be sold to? Your enemy. So who was our enemies that we were sold to? Let me hear you. Oh. Who was our enemy? Oh, you weren't listening. What? White people, what about? What is the context we're talking about right now? Read the verse again for her. Yeah, Just I'm for you. Away, I know you did. You weren't paying attention. Read it again. <laughs> and the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again. The word Egypt system means bondage. Read it again. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again. Come on. With ships. With ships. How did we come to America? Our ancestors. How did we get it? What kind of boat? Was it a yacht? Was yeah. it love boat? Yeah. A slave ship, right? Now, what are we reading? Bible prophecy, right? right. Read. By the way, well, I spake unto thee. Because Moses prophesied and warned our ancestors. If you break God's laws, you're going into slavery on ships. We were like, ah, that's never going to happen to us. Watch. Thou shalt see it no more again. The homeland, read. And then ye shall be sold unto your enemy. Right. For bondmen. For bondmen, which means slave men. And bond women. Bond women means slave. Women, read. And no man shall buy you. And no man shall buy you means no man shall save you. That's why you had many black leaders rise up and try to save us. They could not. Malcolm X assassinated. Martin Luther King assassinated. Marcus Garvey exiled and died. Poisoned. Nobody can save us. There's one savior. Who is it? Jesus. Jesus Christ. Get Luke. Go back to Luke now. So now you understand that this is prophecy. Yeah. You go to school and all slave ship, slave ship. Yeah, yeah. You don't understand. This is our history. Luke 171. Here's the Savior. Luke 7, chapter 1, verse 71. For that we should be saved from our enemy. And from the hand of all that hate us. The purpose of Jesus Christ is to save you from your enemies and from all those that hate you. You're taught in church everybody loves you. Well, if everybody loves us, why are we the last hide the first fight? That's right. If everybody loves us, why we got the worst education? Right. You understand? Now let's go back to this book here. Show them what you got. Show them what you got. And in, in this in this in this archaeology book. That, that was, how, how much was it when you when, when, when I bought it, was 80 bucks. It was 80 dollars, and how much is it now? 400 dollars. That's crafty counsel that I was talking about earlier. Because our people ain't gonna spend that kind of money on a book. Exactly, so they know what they're doing. And before I talk about this, just for a second, I watched the sister's expression when the brother read out of that Bible about the slave ships, because you never heard that before. How long have you, how long have you been to church? How long have you, all your life? That verse has been in the Bible ever since the Bible was written. Right. And I saw the shock on your face. You realize that it's not just a book. You realize that it's your photo album. I saw it. Okay? That's a beauty. That's good that she acknowledged that thing. Now, in this book here, like I said, these are the these are the photographs of saints and angels and people of the Bible paintings. that they have and paintings so you can understand that they have painted throughout all of Europe. Uh -huh. And in Russia they have relics of these uh, photographs. I mean of these paintings. What is what is this, this right? How would her read? Right. Look, look, at, look at this. Who is this right here? Read Come what on it up. says. Is it Gabriel? The, the archangel what? Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Can y'all see that? Our so why the huh? Angel is the bad one, right? No, no, those are the good, no, those are the good angels. Right. Right. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Those are the ones that came, this is the one that came to Mary right. and told her she would have a son That's right. and to name him Savior. Right. A black, all the angels yeah. in the Bible are black. Yes. But the crafty yeah. council, who's this one over here? What did I say right here? Could be um, Raphael. I think it's Michael, right? Michael. No, this okay. is Gabriel. This, no, That's hold on, Gabriel. Hold, hold on. That's, That's Gabriel, Gabriel there. That's Gabriel right there. What that was that Raphael or, or Michael? Okay. Right, it's probably Michael. What is that? I'm trying, I'm trying to find it. Hold on a second. The it. point is they black. That's the point. That's the point they black. Yeah, this is Gabriel. Yeah, that's and Gabriel. This 
one is Michael. Michael. Uh, Michael. The other one is Michael. This is Michael here. Yeah. And the other one is Gabriel. Okay. 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 But the point is they're black. Show it again. I want everybody to see this. That's right. And these are the rulers. All the rulers. These are the rulers in Russia in the late 1700s. That's right. A lot of y'all think all the slaves came from Africa. That's a no. lie. No. That is a lie. That is some a lie. came from Africa. Some, the last ones came from Russia. Yeah. And this is what this book is showing you. That's why when you read a book called uh, the Before the Mayflower by Lerone Bennett Jr. He said the first slaves that came spoke Spanish because those were the Moors in right, Spain. Right. Those were Jews. Right. Those were Israelite Jews. They had money. They were they was, We was wealthy. Yeah, smart. We yeah. ruled the earth. That's right. right. And because right. of our sin, God allowed us to be conquered and made slaves here. Right. That's our history. We have the greatest history on the planet so Earth. So right. what, what was that? What was that? The Moors you're talking about. Oh, the Moors. We was doing all kind of wickedness. A lot of you saw the movie um Braveheart with uh with Mel Gibson. Mel Gibson. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Those were supposed to be black men. All that stuff with the kings, uh, they said um where the king had to deal sexually with your wife first before you deal with her. Uh, all our wickedness was us. Yeah, okay. All that was us. That we was evil. So most I said, I gotta go. I gotta go. And that's what happened. Now. 24. Go back to that first image. They still get acknowledged with them. Yeah, they do. Watch oh. this. Job chapter 9, verse 24. The earth is given into the hand of the wicked. The earth is given into the hand of the wicked, meaning there's a supreme wicked who's ruling the earth. Who's ruling the earth? We are. No, we're not. We are. I'm a slavery. I got to pay bills. Who's ruling the earth? We should be. Who do what they want on this earth? Right. Right. Are you scared to say it now? Right. The white man. <laughs> America rules everything. You don't watch the news, nobody listen. America shut stuff do. down. Watch this. It's not, hey, this ain't your country, brother. <laughs> <laughs> the earth is given into the hand of the wicked. Come on. He covers the faces of the judges. No. He covers the faces of the judges. That's what I was explaining earlier. They, I, I can't a conspiracy, for lack of better words, where they painted all the black images white. That's how they kept the slaves at bay. Right. That's why your mothers and fathers, right. we worship a white, we're the only nation who has a God that don't look like them. You understand that? Make them scared, like, you know what I'm saying? And they give you a homosexual man. Oh, this guy, Caesar Bourget, was a real man. Hold that up, hold that up, hold that up. Now, in the Bible, let me ask you this. Does the Bible describe Jesus Christ? Yes, he yeah. does. What do you look like? What do you want to hear? Yeah, they look like me. They look like me. They just got the background. You know when I go to church, right? Yeah. In your church, what does he look like? Revelation, number one. In, in church, In your sir. church, what does he look like? He's white in church. Oh, uh, wait. Yeah. Wait a minute. So you know that the Bible says Jesus I, yeah, is I do. black. Yeah, I do. Yeah, but I, your I minister, that. what does that mean about your minister? He's a what? He's a hypocrite. That's right. Read it, Revelation 1. If I was that man, what do you think it would happen if he asked you, you know what I'm saying? You know what would happen? I'm going to tell you, my, I got a cousin, I got a cousin who's a minister. What I'm sharing with y'all, I share with him. You know what he said? He said, if I teach the truth, my members believe. That's right. That's what they're afraid of. They're afraid of the truth. That's what they're afraid of. Come on. Revelation chapter 1, verse 1. The revelation of Jesus Christ. Jump down to verse 14. Verse 14. His head and his hair were white like wool. White woolly hair Christ had. Read. And white as snow. White as snow. And his eyes were a flame of fire. I like this one. I'll show them this. Show them that. This is Peter and Paul. Show them. Peter and Paul. Go close so they can see it. Y'all gotta get an eyeball for Get an eyeball of this stuff. That's the apostle Peter and Paul. So this is Peter right here, right? They were all painted black always okay. exactly because that's doing by the beard right exactly. <laughs> see that so this can you all the imagine way from this? russia with love you got children you got children yes sir sister what about you you got no, children sir. No, sir. if you taught your kids that god christ and the israelites look like this guess what that would end what would it stop it's coming, it's coming. black on black crime yes, because when i saw you i wouldn't look at you like a nigga i said that's my brother right that's there he's an israelite i would call our sisters bees and hoes i say this is my sister here that's crafty counsel that's right destroy the image hate each other that's why we shoot each other that's it right there that's it come on brother she what said you got it. I'm in his feet until fine bread so here john looked at christ's feet your feet is the same color as your arms and your face. Read. As if they burnt in a 
furnace. He said Christ's feet looked like they was burned in the furnace. That's how dark his skin was. That's how dark. Now, one of Christ's ancestors was King Solomon. What did he look like? Mulatto. Mulatto? Mulatto. Give me Song of Solomon. Mulatto means half white, half this and half that. Song of Solomon, read verse 1. The Song of Solomon, which so the Song of Solomon, which is Solomon. The Song of Songs, which is Solomon. So now, Solomon wrote this. Read verse 5. I am black. What? I am black. What? I am black. Go ahead. But commonly and handsome, oh ye daughters of Jerusalem. Where'd you get mulatto from? Uh, I'm thinking about his mother. Don't think about his mother. His mother was Bathsheba. She was right. black. Right. She was also. She was black. Right. Yeah, I'm sorry about that. Now, yeah. let's I'm get some more. You, you heard of the prophet Job? Yeah. yeah. What did he look like? He was black. How you know? You just saying black now. I'm just black. saying black. Okay, who? What George Washington? What he look like? Oh, he white. Oh, okay. I was testing. I was testing. Oh. Job, uh, Job 30 and 30. My skin is black upon me. Wait a minute. Wait. That can't be right. See, you read that wrong. <laughs> Y'all gotta see it for yourselves. My That's skin right. is Burn. black upon me. Burn. This has been in the Bible Wait. all this time, right? Job 31. My skin. Burn. That's the original. That's, That's, That's the original. You see that? My skin. And so it ain't talking about his feelings. So what you're telling me is they just don't discuss these things in no, a church. No. And they're in the Listen, there's a conspiracy against you. That's what I need y'all to understand. You are the greatest people on earth. Christ is coming to redeem you. I love my royal priesthood. So I know, but it's just shocking me that these are actually yeah. in the Bible and as long as I've been in church. Because the church is founded on white supremacy. But even a black pastor was still going to that They're getting paid, sister. If you pay T.D. Jakes, I'm give you an example. Uh-oh. What was that hurricane? Uh, Katrina. Katrina. Yeah, hurricane. Remember when the blacks left from New Orleans? Um, help me out here. New Orleans. New Orleans. New Orleans, they were going across the bridge, right? Yeah. The whites had shotguns. They mm -hmm. said, y'all can't come across mm -hmm. this bridge. But you had starving blacks over there. Mm -hmm. What was the president's name? Bush at Bush. the time. Bush got Creflo Dollar, T.D. Jakes to go over there and calm black people down. His Negroes. Cal his Negroes. Calm them down. You had starving babies. Yeah. Had no food. Calm them down. Calm them down because we was going to write. Our people was going to yeah, write. Yeah, if you ain't got no food, yeah. wouldn't you write? Yeah. So exactly. You write it. <laughs> exactly. So instead of giving them food and giving them refuge, he says, like send, send these two coons down there yeah. to calm them down. Exactly. To pacify them. Exactly. But meanwhile, my baby's still hungry. Right. Well, give me uh, give me Micah. Hold on. Hold on. Ooh. Micah 3 11, I think it is. Help me out here. Or 2 11. Give me the scripture. 3 11. 3 11. 3 11. Micah. I know. I'll be I want to deal with your pastor. Uh oh. Pastors get paid. Yes, they See, that's about aren't they part of the organization too? Huh? Aren't they a part of an organization? Yes. World Council of Church. I forgot Come the on. name of it. Read it for me. Read it. Listen, listen. Mark of three and eleven. Listen good. This is about your pastors. The, the head thereof judges for reward. The heads thereof judge for rewards. And the priests thereof teach for hire. And the priests teach for hire. Mm. And the prophets thereof divine for money. And the prophets divine for money. Ah. This is your ministers and your pastors. They're all paid to keep you asleep so that the rising giant will never rise up. That's right. We're the greatest people on yes. earth. That's right. Y'all right. gotta understand this thing here. We're royal priesthood. We're royal priesthood. Jeremiah 821. And we're not great just because we say it. Right. This, you know, everybody reads this book every day. That's They're right. reading about your far forefathers, your yeah. foremothers. And they go, they don't want to admit they're black or they're white. They're white. Jeremiah 821. Oh. Jeremiah chapter 8, verse 21. Come on. Look, <laughs> of the daughters Nobody. of my people in my heart. This ain't good about Jeremiah the prophet. Yeah, I am black. What like Jeremiah is saying? I am black. Jeremiah said, I am all his colors in the Bible. Yeah. But it's hidden from you. And our people don't like to read because we think the white man wrote this. You heard that before? Yeah. Let me ask you. That's the, no, this that's is the King the, James Version. I mean, uh, yeah. not the new... Uh, the new international. Yeah, yeah. yeah new international. Okay. Go Let me ask you this, bro. They say if you want to ever hide something, put it in the book. Because our people don't like to read. Right. Our people now in the Egyptology say, white man wrote that book. Based on what we've read so far, did the white man write this? No, he never did. Never wrote it. Never wrote it. Never wrote it. The white man was so cocky, he left it alone. Because what? In slavery, were we allowed to read? No. We, are. we were not allowed. How did we learn the Bible? Addicted to know. How did we learn the Bible of slavery? The white people. They was telling us. Now, that's they right. They very good. They was looking at the book saying stuff, yeah, but they, they was making up their own words. Yeah, they right. read Give me that. Isaiah 29. Oh, I'm going to show you Bible prophecy that says that. Yeah. That's right. Isaiah 29, I think it's verse 
they say they they saying, yep. say, they, they saying they making you know we all sitting there looking at him, so we thinking he reading from the right. book, but he was coming up. Exactly. Watch know. this. Watch this. Isaiah chapter twenty nine, verse thirteen. Wherefore the Lord said, read, for, read it slow. Read it slow. Wherefore the Lord said, for as much as this people draw near to me with their mouth, this people draws near me with their mouth. I'm gonna explain. Like you and my mama go to church. I love the Lord. I love Jesus. How people good for saying that? But watch this. And with their lips they do honor. Me. Lip service. Ooh. But have removed their heart far from me. What does it mean, but have removed their heart far talk, from talk me? Again. They they talk again. Again. Right, but they won't do nothing yeah. the Bible says. Right. Our people go to church on Sunday, which is not the day of the Lord, and won't do nothing this book says. We don't watch this. And the fear toward me. And your fear towards God is taught by the precepts of men. Is taught by the precepts of men. What men taught us? The Bible. The white, the white man taught us. Yeah. So that's why we got these images all through our, our houses. That's right. Watch this. Not my house. Well, my mom, don't do it either. Your mama got it. Now, back to this image. Look here. I got that one. These sketches were done by Leonardo da Vinci. Yep. Pope Alexander VI of Rome had a son named Caesar. They chose Caesar Borgia to be the Renaissance image of Jesus. These are the original sketches. And it's a book. What's the name of the book, y'all? What's up? Um, Celebrated Crimes. No, not that one. I went to the other one. The Borgias. The Borgias by Marion Johnson. And they got these sketches. You can go to your library. It's in there. Google it. It's in there. It's uh, what? The Borgias by Marion Johnson. Okay. Okay. And the sketches are done by Leonardo da Vinci. So what we're telling you is the truth. We're telling you. Shalom Israel. I'm Elder Nathaniel of Israel United in Christ. Here to announce and make it plain and known to you that today in Charlotte, North Carolina, we have our seventh school location here at 5105 Regan Drive. You're going to have a good time learning, learning your history, learning the precepts on what we need to do to repent and how we can be delivered, how we will be delivered out of captivity. So come join us here at 5105 Regan Drive in Charlotte, North Carolina. See you soon.